Markets are eyeing a busy week of econ data, notably the consumer price index and retail sales. Right now, you're seeing markets taking all of this market moving data up in stride here. You're seeing uh, the Dow uh, up close to 200 points. Uh, we'll get set up for you. Uh, big earnings reports out from later this week. Coca-Cola, Airbnb, Marriott, and, Coca- uh, and other companies as well. We have everything you need to know. And make the bad news disappear. Beat up Snap investors are prepping for a key investor day this week. We have a preview. And here comes vacation season. Expedia CEO Peter Kern stops by following his company's latest earnings. Julie, over to you. Yeah, let's talk about uh, what stocks are doing here because already out of the gate, we are seeing stocks take another leg higher. That means the Dow right now is up about a half a percent. The S&P up better than that. And the Nasdaq is leading the pack here. It's up by about eight tenths, one percent. We are seeing that inverse relationship between stocks and bond yields, particularly when we're talking about those large cap tech stocks. Bond yields are coming down today. That means there is more optimism, maybe, about what the Fed's going to be doing and how aggressive or not it is going to be. And so we are are seeing the 10-year yield at 3.72%. Elsewhere, as we take a look at the sectors within the S&P 500 here, energy is the only one in the red. We were just talking a little bit about oil prices with Rebecca Babin of CIBC. We've got tech stocks, we've got real estate, we've got financial, communication services, almost everything is up today. And it's sort of mixed in terms of what types of groups are up. Interesting, for example, to see real estate and tech both up at the same time. So interesting trade that we are watching there. And then... Excuse me, to go back to the NASDAQ, big movers for a second. Tesla shares standing out to me. They are down by more than 3% today. We're going to talk a little bit more about Tesla. And by the way, its role in the big game, not the role you might, might expect. You might have seen Elon Musk standing there, sitting there next to Rupert Murdoch at the game. I don't think that's why the stock is down. We'll talk about it a little more later. Microsoft, one of the stocks that's helping lead the gains today, it's up about 3.7%. I did see some more analyst chatter about the prospects for earnings growth from the company. So interesting there.